All right, hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. I'm Alpha Heavy Gamer, and today I want to discuss the Super Mirage 4000. So I've eagerly awaited the arrival of this aircraft in the game for quite some time. Uh, I've mentioned this in previous videos. However, I, I didn't anticipate Gaijin introducing it this soon. I'm very happy I don't get that confused, but wow, I didn't think it would come now. Um, and fortunately on the dev server, the Mirage 4000 seems to be living up to the hype, at least the hype I built up in my mind and from what I've read in the marketing information for the aircraft. So if you're familiar with my channel, you know that I am a Mirage enthusiast. I've always been drawn to the classic wing, um, you know, the classic Delta wing design. Mirages for me are just beautiful aircraft to look at, you know, very storied history, especially Mirage 3C. Um, however, you know, with some exceptions, they're not always very enjoyable to play in War Thunder. So let me elaborate a bit. I've played all the Mirages and more often than not, I've come away somewhat disappointed. Despite my initial excitement for the aircraft, you know, when Gaijin brings them in, they tend to eventually, you know, be over tiered and they exhibit lackluster performance in game. A prime example is the Mirage 3C and the 3E, which for a long time, you know, they were just underwhelming aircraft for a, a myriad of reasons that I've talked about before in other videos. And then finally, you know, the Mirage F1C came, but it arrived a little too late. It missed its entire window. And when the aircraft finally got to the game, you know, it was already struggling to keep up with the competition. And even with some buffs, it just remains a middling aircraft to me. So you're starting to see the trend already. You know, new Mirages are hyped up for the game. You know, they get introduced and then uh, they're kind of disappointing when people get their hands on them. You know, the Mirage 2000s, while great jets, they share a common limitation with most Mirages, which is limited air-to-air -air offensive capability. At most, you can carry four effective air-to-air -air missiles, um, you know, split that between the Magics and Super 530s. I know that, you know, the 5F now can carry four Magic 2s, which is great. Um, the Mirage F1 can carry five missiles, including, um, you know, a missile on the center line, but it was mostly useless, and it's useless additional weight because it, you were only limited to being able to slot a 530 or a 530 so kind of like a throwaway missile. But that is all changed now. Enter the Super Mirage 4000. Now a remarkable plane that unfortunately never entered serial production, but France got it right anyway. You know, this was said to be the French competition to the F-15 Eagle. The Super Mirage has the ability to carry more than four air-to-air -air missiles finally, so this is a game changer for France. It can carry up to eight Magic 2s or six Magic 2s and two Super 530Fs, or eight Magic 2s and a single Super 530F on the center line. Now, you know, this is all subject to change. You know, the new addition Gaijin just added was it being able to carry eight Magic 2s. So this expanded capability allows you to take the fight to the enemy and stay in their face like in a way that you hadn't been able to do before with any of the Mirages. And thanks to its impressive maneuverability and engine power, this plane truly embodies the essence of a Super Mirage. So this plane was marketed as a multi-role aircraft and it really doesn't disappoint here either. The multi-role loadouts are pretty impressive. Uh, you have an Atlas II targeting pod. You have precision air to ground munitions in the form of the BGL-1000 laser guided bomb and laser guided air ground missiles, the AS-30L. Uh, the ability to carry four AS-30Ls, double what the Mirage 2005F and the 2000D R1 can carry, uh, is quite impressive. Additionally, you can load a substantial number of dumb bombs and even with the ground pounding ordnance loaded onto the aircraft, the uh, Mirage 4000, Super Mirage 4000 can defend itself you know, easily against air-to-air -air threats. All right, so while I don't want to place too much hope in the dev server version of this aircraft, you know, because things can change, uh, Gaijin can make significant changes before this goes live, but I, I don't know. If everything stays the same um, as it is right now, the Super Mirage 4000, in my opinion, will represent the most substantial leap in capability the French aviation tree has seen in ages. When Fox 3s come, uh, the 4000 will even be able to equip the mica missiles uh, it can equip even more missiles actually the max you can have now is the eight magics and one super 530f but this aircraft is capable of carrying i believe up to 14 uh, air to air missiles so a substantial amount so just to 
in this video here if you're like me and you know you love the mirage you know family of aircraft and you know you got hyped every time a mirage came and then you got it and you were like man uh i've been had again i don't think this is gonna happen this time um if you don't plan on grinding for this gem of a plane i think maybe you should reconsider even if you if you've been hurt in the past you know um <laughs> i know I know French mains and Mirage lovers have been disappointed in the past, like I said, but I think this, uh, I think the Super Mirage 4000 is in a whole other league of aircraft. It's beautiful to look at, and at least on the dev server right now, it is a beast to use and fight against. And I have to say, Gaijin, please, please do not mess this plane. Please don't do it. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.